What's happening, guys? Keith here with your November 25th edition of the Impact Report. So normally this show would be reserved for the viewership from this past week's episode of Impact. However, due to the Thanksgiving week and weekend, the ratings won't be available until Tuesday. At least that's what I've been told. So we'll just take a look at the YouTube viewership along with the press pass. And I have a preview for next week's episode of Impact. So YouTube viewership... Number three, Scarlett Bordeaux puts on a show for the Vegas crowd. This had 26,000 views. Number two, Scarlett Bordeaux stops the entire match, and this had 55,000 views. Number one, Glenn Gilberti dons the turkey suit, and that had 64,000 views. So the total of views for the top three rated clips was 145,000. And the lowest was competitors swear the turkey suit oath. And that had 8,000 views. Um, Heading over to the press pass, this week's was with Johnny Impact. So this is the second time in, I believe, the last month that he's been on. Last time he was on with Killer Cross, hyping up their match from final hour. So this one, we started off the call with Josh Matthews, giving us a little information about what's going on in Impact. Uh, They said they had to add additional VIP packages for Homecoming. Uh, They sold out originally, but they added a few more. I'm not sure if they're still available, but these may be the last of them. They're not sure if they were going to add any more in the future. Uh, Tickets for the February Las Vegas tapings are on sale. We learned that Culture Clash tickets go on sale tomorrow, Monday, November 26th. This is for the Impact Wrestling House of Glory show taking place WrestleMania weekend. And uh, we also learned that Johnny Impact will be in Nashville for December 10th and 11th. Um, Hopefully they will be getting on ESPN Radio, doing something with the Tennessee Titans, the Nashville Predators, along with NBC Sports. There's also talk about them possibly shooting the cold open for homecoming then. Uh, This is when Johnny comes on the call. He is asked about if he had given Killer Cross's offer a second thought after hearing that he will face Brian Cage at homecoming. Johnny says absolutely not. He says he doesn't want anything to do with the psychopath, and he doesn't want him anywhere near him. He says he is safer in the back than he is at ringside. Uh, Johnny is asked if he looks at Taya any differently in the ring since they are now married. Uh, He was actually mentions that he just did a final walkthrough on their first house they're buying together. Uh, He then jokes and says that before they got married, if she got hurt, he could just walk away. But then he says that nothing has really changed, but they do feel closer to each other. He says he feels proud seeing her in the ring and always is worried about her. Um, He's also asked about doing a behind-the-scenes show with the two of them on the Global Wrestling Network. Johnny says he likes the idea and says you never know what could happen. I think that would be a fantastic idea. I mean, they could even do that for the Twitch show. I mean, that's what we were under the impression that Impact had said they want to really expand their Twitch and do some more interactive stuff with the talent. I think that would be some something pretty cool to look at, um, being husband and wife in the same promotion. Um, Johnny is then asked what he'd like to see Taya do differently against Tessa at Homecoming. He jokingly says win. He says that she needs to keep doing what she's doing. Tessa's antics will only take her so far. Uh, Johnny is asked what his thoughts on Brian Cage saying he wasn't going to use option C, then using it anyway. Uh, Johnny jokes and says that there was no catering backstage at Vegas, so Cage was getting grumpy and Johnny knew something was going to happen. But then he says he says Cage was so proud of being the X-Division champion when he originally said that. But after successfully defending it, he wanted something that he hasn't had already and something he hasn't accomplished in Impact Wrestling, and that's defeating Johnny Impact and becoming Impact World Champion. Uh, Johnny is asked what being the Impact World Champion means to him. He says it means that he is the guy. He is the one who represents Impact standing at the top of the mountain. He said it's an honor with the great roster they have and the positive momentum. He believes they are turning around the perception of impact, and it is a huge honor to be the one leading the charge. He is asked about his thoughts on Ray Phoenix and Matt Seidel since he has recently faced both men. Uh, He says that they're among the most talented wrestlers in the world, and he could see them both as future champions. 
Um, he is asked about stepping in the ring with Cage. He says it is tough to analyze someone like Brian Cage. He's like an army tank, and I'm like a fighter jet. He says he calls himself a machine because that's how he lives his life. It's incredible the things that he can do. But Johnny says that experience is going to come into play at homecoming, and that's where his advantage comes in. Uh, he is asked about one personal trait that him and Brian Cage have in common. Johnny says work ethic. Johnny is asked about how him and Taya first met. He said at a show a while back, they were both in separate relationships at the time. They had a brief conversation and went to the gym with a bunch of people. Afterward, Johnny thought she was really cool, but didn't know Taya felt the same way until years later. And then, well, we know how that played out. Uh, Johnny is asked if he plans to stay with the company for the next two to three years. He says yes. He says impact. He sees impact growing, the viewership expanding, along with the roster saying... He would like to see the viewership and ratings double, even triple, possibly working together with Ring of Honor, New Japan, Pro Wrestling Noah. He says next week he is wrestling in Taiwan with no affiliation with Impact, and he is running wrestling under the name Johnny Impact. So that is good to hear. Uh, Johnny is asked about him versus Jay Lethal, a champion versus champion match that was brought up on the Jericho Cruise, and if anything has been put into the works. Johnny says it's still up in the air, but the more it is talked about, the more likely that it will happen. Johnny is asked about the Undead, Undead Realm storyline, and it is being something like you would see on Lucha Underground. He says he is a big fan of Alley, and he says the Dark Alley character is really interesting to see. He says he likes wrestling that has the courage to push the limits. The elements of the supernatural have always been in wrestling for years, or have been in wrestling for years and years, and it is what attracted him to wrestling when he was a kid. He is asked if there is anyone from Lucha Underground he'd like to see an impact. He says Daga. Johnny says he has a lot to offer. He also names PJ Black and Jack Evans. Uh, he is then asked about homecoming. He says walking into that building as champion and being in the main event is a huge honor with all the history that it has with Impact Wrestling. Uh, he is asked who he wishes could perform his theme song live for him, much like LAX had a band perform or a group perform for them at Pound for Glory, and he says Bruce Springsteen. He is asked if there is anything him and Ty have learned from each other about the business that they didn't know. Uh, he says, since she spent a good portion of her career in Mexico, her Lucha Libre psychology is something that he has overlooked. And then he closes the call with a final thought and says that he will be walking out of homecoming still world champion. So next week's episode of Impact will feature the Lucha Brothers versus Willie Mack and Rich Swan. I believe they brought up saying that this match could have tag team championship implications for homecoming. Uh, we get a rematch from Final Hour with Jordan Grace versus Katarina. Eli Drake versus Tommy Dreamer, and this came about from what happened a couple weeks back. And then we get the debut of the Rascals. Um, if you guys aren't too familiar with the Rascals, Last Word on ProWrestling.com has put out an article titled, The Rascals Are Coming, a look at Impact Wrestling's newest stable. So I'm going to drop a link in the comments section below so you guys can check that out. I'll have that pinned up. It was a really good read. Um, so, like I said, if you guys aren't familiar with the group, to check that out before the show. And uh, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I should have another video up midweek preview previewing the Gold Rush Twitch special that's going to air Friday. Um, I should have my Explosion review on Thursday, followed by the Impact review Friday. Saturday is up in the air right now. I may try to squeeze, squeeze in a review of the Gold Rush show if I get a chance to watch it. Um, and then Sunday I will have the viewership report. So thanks for checking out my video. And until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye. Did you like that video? If so, click here to check out more great content. Thank you for supporting the Clock Cleaners Podcast.